She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows no limits. She craves attention. She praises an image. She prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. Oh, she don't see the light that's shining deeper than the eyes can find it. Sometimes you just need to try out the things that you really want to do. Try it out. You never know. You could love it or you might decide that I don't really want to do that. But sometimes you just need to take the risk, okay? And I don't really take a lot of risk. I stay in like my little safe zone or whatever. But I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel for a while. But let's just get to the tag, okay? I want you guys to get to know me. We'll talk about me wanting to make a YouTube channel for a while. We'll talk about all of that, okay? Okay. Okay, so first question is so okay, so this is my 25 it's called it's like the 25 questions about me tag and the first question is what is your full name? My full name is Miriam Motoraya Hassan. I have lots of other middle names, but if I was to name them, first of all, I don't even know them because, like, my mom, she'll tell me, but I, I feel like she don't even remember them, so some of them she just makes up. Okay, so, question number two. When is your birthday? Okay, so if you know me, like, you know, I'm obs I'm obsessed. Up, up, obsessed. All right, so that's another thing y'all get to know about me. <laughs> me and words ain't good together. But... My birthday is June 18. That means I'm a what? What's my sign? What's my sign, guys? Yeah, I'm a Gemini, like. And I have, look at my bracelet. Gemini. Always repping, okay? Always repping. Rep your sign. Whatever. This is my first video, okay? So, excuse me and all this. Like, I feel like I'm just rambling. Let's move on. Question Question number three. I just answered that. Is what is your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. 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 Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So all my Geminis are, I really, really, really love you guys. Because I just feel like we have a special bond. Like, nobody understands us. Everybody's always hating on us. Like, compared to other signs, they hate on the Geminis. Why? Like, why? We don't even do nothing to nobody. We're angels. <laughs> Question number four, where were you born? So I was born in Nigeria. Yeah. I don't know why I said that like that. I'm happy I was born in Nigeria, though. Like, don't. Like, I don't know, why did I just say it like, but I'm happy, like, I love where I'm from. I am obsessed with my country, my culture, I'm obsessed with it. People don't know that about me though, but I really am obsessed with where I'm from. Question number five, do you have any tattoos? No, I'm a plain Jane. I don't have no extra piercings and nothing. I have no tattoos, no extra piercing, never got nothing pierced. And that's, maybe, I think it's because, first, where I'm from, two, I'm a skitty cat. I, I cannot handle pain, so one day, one day though, I'm on a tattoo. Number six, what was your favorite slash worst subject in school? So my favorite subject was always math, still is math, because I'm good at it. So why not, you know? My worst subject is English. <laughs> I just always be like, I always say it's because, you know, I grew up in a different country and where I'm from, the, the, type of English was British English so you know that's my little excuse like <laughs> I know how to speak British English y'all American English I don't really know like you know that's always been my excuse but I just don't really like English like I can't spell <laughs> my favorite TV show so I I kind of I'm obsessed I used to be like I, I used to be such a reality TV show type of girl but right now I feel like 
They're just so corny. Is it because that I know that they're faking it and making up these stuff? But I all oh, I just okay, so I like a lot of like, you know, criminal justice shows, you know. The ID channel, you know? Yup. What's your favorite restaurant? So my favorite my favorite restaurant is a restaurant called Spice. It's like a, it's a Thai restaurant and You wanna be my friend? Let's go to Spice. For real. Let's all go to Spice together. All of us. So when I go to Spice, I get the same thing all the time. It's called ba it's called six o'clock fried rice, aka basil fried rice. And um they they put like egg, bell peppers, shrimp, chicken. Well it comes with shrimp or chicken, but I get shrimp and chicken, okay? Okay? Yeah, it's a little bit more money, but I have to have both. What's your favorite book? Semi-worst subject was English. Really have never been into reading books. I just, maybe because I felt like, okay, you know how some people read books and it's just so like, like they're telling a story. When I read a book, it's like, wah, wah, wah. I wish I had that animated voice, like, you know, you make the story come to life. I don't have that. So I feel like that's, and like inside my head, it doesn't come out like that. So I just feel like that's probably why I don't like reading books. So the next question is cats or dog? First of all, if you know me, what do I hate? Comment below. What do I hate? Y'all, if you know me, you know what the hell I hate. Can I stand cats? Okay, if you love cats, I'm sorry. Like, nothing against your cat, but I'm just scared of cats. Like, a cat could be walking. If the cat is coming down the block, because we're at Brooklyn. We have so much cats. Actually, I feel like it's every borough in New York. There's so much cats walking up and down the streets. Like, I feel like ASPCA don't do their job no more. Like, do you guys not pick up stray cats anymore? Like, I have, like, six on my block. They all just be chilling, trying to walk. No, no, not next to me. I really, ugh. okay, so this is the reason I think I hate cats. I feel like it's because when I was younger, like, African movies, well, Nigerian movies, always, like, made cats seem like they were so evil. They would have, like, cats, cats be meowing, meowing coming into people people's houses and doing evil shit like if you watch african movies you know what i'm talking about you know what the hell i'm talking about it says first best friend okay so the first i don't know if that was really my first best friend but what i can remember i remember in the third grade that was like the first my that was the first grade that, okay and it was the third grade but that was like the first the grade I came into when I came to the United States, when I came to New York. So, I remember her name was Jennifer, and she was like Spanish mommy. She had like curly hair like this, and she was so pretty. And yeah, that was my best friend in the third grade. Oh my God. So, I remember that was my first, that was like my first best friend or whatever. And I remember one day I asked my mom can I go to her house and she was like yeah you know I was that was I was kind of like fresh off the boat or whatever case may be so I remember I went to her house and then all I remember is you know having a good time playing with her dolls I don't even think I had that much dolls at home I don't think I did so I remember playing with her dolls and all of that and you know the time went by as a, I was I was like nine eight and it's like, when you're a kid, you don't be like, let me go back home. You're like, I'm having so much fun. I'm about to live here. And I remember that. <laughs> I remember my mom coming in, coming to her, like coming to her house. And I just hear, Miriam. That's how my mom says my name. Miriam. She's like, da, da, da. So I go downstairs or whatever. And I, on, our way, on, on our way home, she's like, you're never going to nobody else's house. You don't even think about your house. You don't even think about coming back home. And am I, I mean, I'm just like, am I, I'm like, I think, what did I do wrong? Like, what did I do wrong? I was just having fun. Like, yeah, it was maybe nine o'clock at night, but I was just having fun. You never told me what time to come back. Like, come on. But I remember that. And after that, I never, I never got to go to no friend's house. I really never did. Like, except like cousins or whatever. But that, she was like, she's told me, she was like, you better not ask me to go to nobody else's house. <sighs> Living in a Nigerian household. The next question is, how many kids do you want? I want... Okay. I wanted four kids. <laughs> I told y'all I knew how 
how to do math. I didn't say I knew how to coordinate my hands with what I'm saying, though. Anyway, so I wanted four kids. It's down to three. So, um, but when I do have kids, like, oh, my God, it's this cute ad, cute thing that I want to do. Like, I have to do it. So I want my, my kid's name. Okay, so the girls, their first name will start with the M, just like mine. Their middle name will start with whatever their father's name is. And, you know, the boys will be, their first name will start with their father's first initial, and then their middle name will be my initial. I just always thought that was cute, so I'm going to make sure that happens. Like, how many siblings do you have? So I have um three siblings. Yeah. Cool fact, me and my sister that came before me, we have the same birthday. Uh, what is a bad habit of yours? My bad habit is laughing at awkward moments. So you could try to be telling me something serious. It could be sad. And then I'll just start laughing. And people look at me like, what's wrong with her? But it's just like, it's like I just laugh at awkward moments. Like, I don't know. I want to stop that though because it's really like, so it's sometimes it could be really something that's not funny. Like you could be mad at me and like yelling at me and I'll just start laughing. I'm sorry. I feel bad. It's just I can't help but laugh. The next question is how old are you? I'm 23. I was about to say 21. Like girl, bye. You old. Next question says do you speak any other languages? So I'm Nigerian and I'm Yoruba. So I do know how to speak Yoruba. I understand it perfectly. But I don't really speak it. Like, when I speak it, my mom especially always makes fun of me. Like, why would I show, like, she'll say, like, I sound like, like, you know, it's funny when I speak it because I don't have the accent. I just speak it and it sounds weirder, but I don't feel like it sounds weird. Like, but I feel like that's why I don't really speak it. Like, why are you laughing at me? Why would I want to speak it again? And then now she's like, oh, you need to learn how to speak your ba, da, da, da. Why do you think I don't speak it? Why? You should never make fun of me all those years. Because now that you want me to speak it, I'm not going to speak it. No, you know one of my pet peeves? When people come to me and like, oh, you don't know how to speak your ba. You got to learn how to speak your ba. You know, the Spanish people, they know how to speak their language. And I'm just like, and then they'll be like, say something. Um, Respond back to me in your ba. And I just look at them like, oh, why don't you want to speak it? Because I don't want to. Why are you trying to make me speak it? I know how to speak it. I don't need to speak it to you, though. Okay, next question. <laughs> so, the next question said is, what, who is your favorite YouTuber? Girl. 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 Okay, so, my favorite YouTuber for vlogs is definitely Latoya Forever. Like, I still, okay, so I started watching Latoya Forever. I remember it was like my sophomore year in college and I used to just be in my room all the time watching it and I like watched and this is when she was pregnant with Samia and I was just like really obsessed. I'm still obsessed. And then y'all remember when she took that one year break? Well, it was like, it wasn't even a year, but it felt like a year because I missed her. And there's other YouTubers that I do watch. Like, I like, Aaliyah J. I watch her for makeup. Okay, so this is, I think it's question number 22. I don't know where we're up to at this point. I don't even think I have 25 questions, but this question is, what made you want to make a YouTube channel? Okay, so I for like three to four years, I've wanted a YouTube channel so bad. But, you know how, like, sometimes you're just not confident enough? Like, I just haven't, like, I've, I haven't been confident enough. I just feel like, oh, who's gonna watch me? I just feel like, oh, you ain't cute enough, girl. You know, all those YouTube girls be looking skinty and they hair be nice and flawless. <laughs> you ain't on that level yet. But, so, the other day, so you guys know that Rihanna just came out with the um, her makeup line, Fenty Beauty. Anyway, so the other day, it was right after she came out with her beauty line, because it was like kind of like a big surprise. There was a quote going around Instagram. It was something like, oh, it was something like, if Rihanna 
if Rihanna didn't make her um, Fenty Beauty because she thought that, you know, there's enough make if there's enough um, makeup lines out there, then she wouldn't have, it would she wouldn't have had this success of having a makeup line. So if I feel like there's enough YouTubers out there, I feel like everybody's doing YouTube and I never make my YouTube channel. That might be something I regret for the rest of my life. And I refuse to do that. Like, I'm just trying this YouTube thing out because I've always wanted to do it for like four years. And this is like even before, like, I feel like people weren't really obsessed about watching YouTube channels and everything. And I've just always wanted to do it. So I'm just going to end this video by telling you guys what my channel will be about. I just want to mostly vlog like i just want to vlog i want to travel and vlog show you guys around brooklyn even show you guys around the world because i'm planning on going around the world okay 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 so yeah this is my youtube tag thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys Making sure that they're better than you, but as you they do me, go go do you. You cannot kill my joy, moo moo. I say some people them they hate on you. Follow you on Insta just to free you. The way that go chat rubbish, chat rubbish.